Biomes of the World by Sakura Roberts, Rebecca Wyatt, and Calvin Walker. Coral Reef. With waves splashing and crashing, you cannot see that right under your nose is a coral reef, with many kinds of fish and crustaceans too that live here in the ocean blue. Waters warm and shallow make it a perfect place to play. Won't you come visit on a hot summer day? Although pretty to the eye, it's still in trouble because people all over are filling it with rubble. There are actions we can do to help better our oceans, like recycling and less fishing and putting change into motion. Temperate Forest. In temperate forests, you can find many types of animals and tall pines, like bears, deer, owls, and frogs, tiny critters tucked away under rocks and logs. It's the perfect place for a good reason, because you experience all four seasons. A wet average climate with lots of precipitation create deciduous trees in high concentration. Harsh winters arrive with an abundance of frost and for a few months, it seems that all life is lost. However, look closer and you will soon see that beneath a blanket of snow are seeds ready to spring free. 30, 60 degrees north of the equator makes this place even greater. Rain, wind, snow, and sun make this place that much more fun. Tropical Savannah. Right at zero and 60 degrees north and south, it may be humid or it may be a drought. Scattered small trees, thorny and brittle, in dry vast grasslands, the variance, very little. This place is very hot in the heat of the sun, but animals love to frolic and run. From way, way afar, you can admire the bright burning flame of a starting savanna fire. With a shortage of food and nowhere to go, most animals migrate to find a new home. Wildebeests, warthogs, zebras, and lions inhabit this biome much before the age of the Mayans. Desert. Here in the desert, there is very little rainfall where critters like scorpions, spiders, and lizards crawl. Along with all the low precipitation, record highs and lows from temperature variation. Even with shallow, nutrient-poor soils, this biome holds a lot of oil. Extremely hot and very dry, you might reconsider taking a walk in Dubai. Sparse and tough is the vegetation, and surprisingly evidence of competitive predation. Though the sun shines harshly and the sand's about to burn, if you look close enough, you're sure to find an ectotherm. You may see a snake or lizard in the sand, especially due to their low energy demands. At 30 degrees north and south with rain shadows, you can still find a desert in Colorado. Boreal Forest and Tundra. More than 50 degrees north with very short vegetation, a tundra has low decomposition with fossil fuel formation. Boreal forests turn to them further north you go, as forests of moss and lichen slowly turn to caps of snow. Receiving very little rainfall with winters cold and pristine, vegetation is short with plants like forbs and evergreens. The tundra has permafrost that covers the ground, its soil permanently frozen all year round. Greatly affected by climate change, along with polar bears, species number varies for owls and arctic hares. It lacks much biodiversity, but the caribou still remain, among the vast untouched habitats found just north of Maine. Biomes are everywhere, just take a look around, filled with creatures and critters awaiting to be found. These places are homes for the life on Earth, and learning about them will show you their worth.